Beginning. Ooh, hey, I know a page that I can check. Oh? Oh, yes. I am going Which... to look at the Fiesta Race page. Oh, to see if I am live on the Fiesta page. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is the Fiesta. <laughs> Wait, should I have the timer going? I had the, live. I had the timer going on my well, last vintage one. Only if you plan to speed run it. I think we're. I think P Pillarfield Mox is going to take it easy though. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna. We got the two four that probably taps for a mana. But yeah, the last uh, vintage masters went very interestingly. Um. Uh, it was a very cool draft, and a deck that had, like, some Psychotogs, and three Counterspell, and three Chainer's Edict. And then it ran into the person playing Goblins, and then Magic Online crashed and didn't let me sideboard. Which directly uh, lost the game two for me. So, here we are again. I was half watching that and half watching Summer Games Done Quick. Hmm. Oh no, Frank, Frank Sinatra. Sinatra. <laughs> Doing it. <laughs> but yeah, so jumping right into an 8-4 on this. Because that's, that's how we do. I don't know what I plan on drafting, but I have a... Yeah, I have very little knowledge of this format. I have very little as well. I know that it contains uh, Lightning Rift and a lot of cards with cycling. And I want to try that if possible. Because Lightning Rift is sweet. So. This format's kind of like Cube, except for you can end up with multiples of cards. I guess. Hmm. So we, we're going to pick swords very highly, then. Uh, we have a Foil Bargain and a Mishra's Workshop available to us. <laughs> so, so is Workshop a thing? Is Workshop a thing? I don't know. I mean, there's Thopter Squadron right there, yeah. which would be uh, something the... with Workshop. God. There's Gilded Light if you are just... Uh, is is Bargain with... like a, a worthwhile card? Is that... No, it's probably not. I haven't heard of anyone using bargain. that in a long time. Like, the thing used to be Academy Rector into Yawgmoth's Bargain. Right. I haven't heard of... Yeah, bargain foil. That's <laughs> <laughs> wait, work, work. Shop. This is another part of Mishra's workshop. I kind of want to see if workshop's a thing. I kind of do too. Like workshop into lodestone golem would be great as heck. Oh man, I mean, this is really silly that there's a foil. I honestly think that we're pick passing up chain lightning. Yeah, I think if if nothing else, it would be chain lightning, maybe like expunge, but okay. Ah, Monica. <laughs> <laughs> Workshop in the memory jar. Mm. Is that a deck? Mono brown. What can brown do for you? Oh, Ernie. Yeah, this has a lot of really great cards. I put over a worm. I like it has some not really great cards like Hulking Goblin. Ah. Well. Oh, here's the here's the card that whoever picks the bargain should pick. Holy crap. <laughs> that all you need. Real? Yeah, that was in the same set as Bargain, by the way. That was where that was printed. Or same block Jeez. at least. So you would, like, drain life with that and bargain, and that was your win con? By the way, I'm picking Memory Jar because we're going to do this. We're going to do this right. Heck yeah. Where I workshop into a Memory Jar and play, like, Mono Brown. I don't know. I don't know if this set has enough artifacts to support Mono Brown, but... Eh. We'll find out. So they just put workshop in, and we're like, eh, eh. we're finished. Okay, what do we got? Uh, no artifacts. All right, let's find something else. Tog with different art we had last time. Mm -hmm. Brindle shoot. Uh huh. <laughs> Fake goblin. Go back, chief. Okay. I don't feel pulled in any strong direction here. Neither do I. I, um... 
Like I Wait, feel like the we do obsessive search. We have things for that. Draw a card, man. Maybe no, not. That's no, that's not. The big thing I'm looking at is maybe, maybe it is like an aggressive deck because we have memory jar. So we just psychotog and make him eat all the cards. I'm, a, I'm grabbing the goblin, I guess. Hey, okay. chimeric idol. Oh yeah, turn one. Also, <laughs> council's sure. judgment is that? I think that's worth something. Hmm. hmm. This this card's um a new card that was in Conspiracy and Conspiracy isn't a, a set in Magic Online, so it's in here, and it's actually like a legacy playable card because for if you you see what it does there, you vote on a card to exile that doesn't target. You just like hey, you know that Geist of Saint Traft? We're removing that from the game. Huh. That's kind of wacky, because you get to, like, play Abyss, I guess? Like, both players? No, That's... it's you vote for a card you don't control. Ooh. Mm. Oh, that is a lot better. I kind of want it as a good removal spell. <laughs> <laughs> this is three mana exile target card. Also, white might be cool. Hey! Yeah, that Thopter Squadron. That, Thopter what does squadron. that actually do? That is a five mana 3-3 three, three flyer with... Holy god, that's text. Um, remove a plus one, plus one counter from Thopter Squadron. Make a one, one flyer. Sacrifice a Thopter. Put a plus one, plus one on counter on Thopter Squadron. So we basically have a five mana, three, three flyer. Oh no, only bust. as a sorcery? Yeah. Man, that makes that so much worse. Yes. God, why couldn't we have Triskelevus? I know. <laughs> Do I want the squadron anyway? I mean, it's still like a five mana, three, three flyer that can break. And that's okay. Yeah, I mean, if you wanted goblins, there's goblin patrol. I, uh, I'm, I'm less tied to that. I just thought it would be a neat thing to go. Like, if I'm gonna dump my hand and then jar. There's goblin general. There's burning of uh, Jingzi. I wish I could the... workshop into that, but. Uh, deep analysis. I don't know what I'm looking for. Man, everything seems like such junk. How did they get away with this? I don't know. This card is the most powerful abstractly easily. Just kind of feeling around for a, a direction. Well, yeah. Sutari Emissary looks pretty dumb next to a wall of diffusion. Hmm. This looks really green. The last pack had no green at all. I don't know what my direction is yet. We'll figure that out, I suppose. <laughs> Goblin Matron. Yeah! <laughs> we have a goblin to search. We do. That feels really forced. It does. But that's honestly the most connected to anything else we've already drafted. Right, nothing, like, we have no black cards and we have no green cards, and Lonely Sandbar is a cycling land. I can pick up Elvish Apparition. I'm a... Okay, you know what? It, it ain't open. That's not happening. I think blue looks decent. Yeah, owls. Instance. <laughs> Owl. Cycling flyer that's like, okay. Renewed faith. I'll pick up something that can cycle. At the worst, it's something else. <laughs> Uh... Yeah, no one's biting on those Thopter squadrons. Well, well, <laughs> they'll they'll see. Yeah, we'll show them with all these artifacts that really exist. Oh my God, this is gonna be a train wreck and a half, isn't it? Whatever, doing it. Uh, 
really kind of crappy goblins, a seven mana six six trampler, and a cycling kill spell in a color yeah. I might be playing. Man, maybe uh, maybe no one else knows what to do either. That might be it. Uh, we'll see. I'm gonna open Goblin Lackey next pack and feel pretty bad. I don't think even Goblins plays Goblin Settler. You would really need to make this card like two mana, a mana cheaper to want to play it. But what else would I play here? I've got Disenchant on a thing, another Disenchant. I could pick up an Edict on a dude. You may have target opponent sacrifice a creature. Oh boy, I can have target player lose four life. Pick up the Defiler. This has got to go somewhere. I believe this goes somewhere. Alright, Goblin Patrol. <laughs> Paralyze. Provoke. Okay. Not the All best right. pack one. Let's... So we, have, we have cards in every color. Let's just... We're keeping our options open. Okay, Badlands. Um... Serenib Ifrit. He's pretty cool. Search, Spark Spray. Frantic Search with the Workshop. The, I'm, I feel the Workshop was a trap. I don't feel like this set has artifacts in it. <laughs> yeah, I guess that was... Uh... Oh, oh, my bad there. Well, then you have no knowledge of the set. That's I, th I thought for sure that they would be like, okay, yeah, brown. I mean, that's what they did with uh, master all the Masters editions, actually. Yeah. Even though the, the artifact outlets were eventually like Dragon Engine or whatever, you still had Tron backing them up. Yeah. Well, uh, this is the most powerful card abstractly outside. Yeah, I mean, obviously, the, like Badlands or whatever, but... Uh, yeah. I'm gonna go with this and kind of see where it goes. This is gonna be one of those things where we figure it out later. Y yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. uh, oh, that looks cool. Hmm, what can I build with this? Oh, we got, like, Ophidian. We got Circular Wait, Logic. what is Academy Elite? Oh, oh, yes, Academy Elite. Comes into play with X11 counters, where X is the number of instant sources in all yards. Pay three, remove a counter to loot. Another I card see. from Conspiracy, a multiplayer-based set. Why are those people crowded up in the corner there? That's kind of weird. Uh, this is a photo shoot. Yeah. They're 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 yeah. they're posing. I could pick up the chain lightning and then be like the blue red Gabo deck or something. Mm hmm. It's chain lightning. Good enough? Probably. It's Chain Lightning. Uh, ivory Tower off of my Mishra's Workshop. Pretty strong. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna pick up the Lightning. It's a removal spell. It's a bolt. I don't know where this is going still. Ah, Necro to go with that Yogg's Bargain. <laughs> because you definitely need two different two kinds different, of that. Yeah. Uh, Cloud of Fairies. Cl Cloud of Fairies. <laughs> yeah, Cloud of Fairies ain't bad. Yeah. It certainly looks like the best option here. Somebody could be doing, like... I'm, I'm betting whoever picked up the uh, bargain will pick up the potents and then have, like, a billion dark rituals if they're in here. I think they're in this set. Well, we didn't see any. Nah, they probably picked them all. If I had a, if I had Foil Yogg's bargain, that would be my second, third, and fourth pick, right? Well, oh, well. We're, we're going to pick Cloud of Fairies because it's passably fine out of a pack that's not the best. Hmm, Battle Screech is pretty good. Yeah. 
yeah. makes one ones. We oh do... man, there's Chimeric Idol again. Ooh, turn delicious. One, turn one Chimeric Idol. I could go with that. Like, do I want? I guess the thing is, like, I I probably am not playing black or green, so I have three colors remaining that are kind of fighting, mm. and I don't know which I'm playing. Hmm. I do admit the Battle Screech is some good. I mean, just being able to... Like, you have one more white creature, and you're just like, okay, blammo, an army. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But Chimeric Idol in Workshop. Mm -hmm. That's a one mana 3-3. Three, three. One mana 3-3. Three, three. Mm -hmm. One mana 3... Yeah, I'm going with that. Sweet. Hey, Swords mm -hmm. to Plowshares. Mm -hmm. And Burning Wish. <laughs> or Counterspell. I could be in white. I'm being in white for removal. I think that's fine. White for removal. Hey, instance to use with our, our memory jar. Ooh, right, right, right. right. All right, let's, wanted... we'll go with Swords. Exile. <laughs> oh. It's just called Exile. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay. That's the name of the card, in fact. Hey. Oh, orcish Lumberjack. Ooh, I've got to remember to turn some of the goblins in my set into orcs. Oh, yeah, orcs I, is I, a... I have orcs. Orcs is a real creature type. Uh, probably not. Burning Wish pro is generally not your whole collection. Like, in a tournament, it's just your sideboard. Yeah, it's, it's just your sideboard. So. <laughs> the really, really burning wish. <laughs> uh, what do we got? We got shelter with no creatures. I can pick up red for removal. I can pick up frantic search. More instants to play with my memory jar. Mm. Mm. To untap the workshop so that we can cast <laughs> Chimeric Idol. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Also, I'm just not really feeling the rest of this. Like, Shelter, we don't really have creatures around. So, uh, we probably should get some of those, I suppose. Hey, Dark Red. Um, hey, we have Thopters. That's, get, that's all we need. I'm getting a signal here. I haven't seen this signal in the rest of my pack, so it's very confusing. But There are know. a lot of confusing signals. Steal your Dark Red. Ha -ha. Give me your Dark Red. Take that, whoever took Yogg Moth's bargain. Uh, Gust Cloak Harrier is a Wind Drake. I suppose that's... Ordinarily, I wouldn't worry about a double white casting cost, but... Uh, I, I know. It's starting to look pretty dire right now. Uh, yeah, I agree. Like, we could we could not have possibly been in green. Where, this, where is this green coming from? I don't know. I'm, I'm going to try the Harrier anyway, because I want... Hey, Aquamoeba. That's a reasonable card for reasonable two-drop slots. Also, the Giant Mantis over the Giant Spider. <laughs> just just a mess with me. <laughs> For you, specifically. I keep doing that. I'll get them, though. I'm totally going to get them. Uh, okay, no one is playing Fires, then. We've, we've managed to figure out that no one is playing anything. Yeah, Magic is not being played, so that's good. I'll take a Sela Cleansing for the board. I'll take an Orcish Lumberjack. Because it's foil, I get to keep this card. It's mine. I own it. Now. Yeah, foil lumberjack. Let's put red in the sideboard. I mean, blue white has seventeen cards right now, and a land sixteen cards. So this isn't okay. So we're we're blue white skies. Right. It's that's that's where this ended up. Out of goblins. <laughs> right. We gave up on goblins and moved into this so 
we have removal in white. All of our white cards are kill spells except for a Windrake. So, okay. I want more, like, early drops. Ones and twos and the like. Hmm, future sight. When Mist Moon Griffin dies, exile Mist Moon Griffin, then return the top creature from your graveyard to play. Huh. Well, that's that's going to, like, return a different Windrake. Yeah, we're trading Windrakes. Is Future Sight realistic? Hey, why did they put two skulls in that art? <laughs> I, love I don't it. even I don't even like that card. But it's like. <laughs> They gave it really good art on Magic Online for some reason. Also, I I, I like the literal brainstorm art. Mm, That's like mm. reminds me of Mind Bomb. Brainstorm has had some pretty great art throughout mm. history. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We can play Future Sight. You get to play the lands. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna try it. It's it it it's. A five on a blue enchantment for blue, blue, blue. Because I can totally pay that. Yeah, give him the double skull. Hmm. Oh, uh, we got the sap rolling burst to go with the fires, you know? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So that's a classic. The unrecognizable ringleader. <laughs> the unremarkable looking goblin. Mmm, huh. This isn't that good. Another Gust Cloak Carrier. More flyers. Yeah, let's solidify what plan we have. Sure. League of the Dead. <laughs> Skywing Avon. Keen Eye Avon. I mean, if this is the sky's plan, we probably want this one, right? Goblin goon. <laughs> he looks pretty great. I know. Getting some, like, skittering lizards or something. Ooh, Death. or are those be uh, beebles? Oh, hmm. Yeah, this is another new card for the set. That's pretty bad. Like, why didn't they just put Friarexian Arena in? Yeah, you get to draw on both turns. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, I can make death happen that consistently. Okay, Crater Helium. <laughs> uh, son of a counterspell a proper. A lot of goblins to choose from, but uh, by the way. There's still not any of the goblins that you really want. Like or, Ringleader, maybe. Ringleader but, was the first I saw that I liked. But you want Goblin Lackey. That's that's the Goblin's Goblin. I want the War Chief. I want the... The good old goblins. Mm -hmm. Crater Helium. Mm -hmm. Just go to town with one like owl or something. Yeah, are we are we gonna have cards in our hand? Eh, memory jar. <laughs> ooh, ooh, let's do it. <laughs> I'll oh. see it coming a mile away. Brainstorm, Ophidian, another removal spell. I don't know how good brainstorm is because we don't have a ton of like shuffle effects. Right. We have, like, Brainstorm after a Memory Jar to save cards. Like, we need to hide our two best cards. Hmm. Also would sort of... Yeah. Well, it would help with the mana, probably. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Just, I, I doubt we need the three mana, two, one flyer. What do you do? Jeez. 
Jesus. Uh, that's invasion. That is from invasion proper. You can tell because it's expensive. Mm. So did you know there aren't artifacts in this set? Because I know that now, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm having a hard time coming to grips with that. Ooh! <laughs> well, what about the... Oh my god! Turn one mono prison <laughs> off of the workshop! I can also pick up, like, Noble Templar as a reasonable creature with plane cycling. Mana Prism. Get the hell out of it. God! Remember when a lot of magic cards had really terrible art? <laughs> because I do. Did you know that green and black are open from every direction, actually? I've been, like, you know, this is the people on my right passing to me, and before it was the people on my left passing to me that didn't want the damn color combination either. So, uh... This is a, this is a mess. This is awful. This is terrible, and... I already despise this deck. It... <laughs> we're, like, we're completely cut off from our color. Oh, man, everything is terrible. Yeah, okay, I get it. My colors are closed. I I, I also understand. You should have been in goblins or something. Wow. That's that's pretty harsh. Fortunately, we already have a Skies deck, so... <laughs> yeah, and all I have to do is cut two cards out of it. It's at 26, and... Uh, no, 26 with two lands. Cut one card out of it. <laughs> uh, this is awful. This is pretty bad. I'm... <sighs> we have a workshop that we probably should not even use. I, I'm, I'm kind of sad that the workshop was that big of a trap. I didn't realize it was going to be that big of a trap. Alright, I need to cut one card. <laughs> we need to we need to mulligan this draft. I would love to that. mulligan like, this draft. Where's the conspiracy creature that that does that? I would Just love says, to do, do that. over. I I would love to mulligan this this draft. That would be. Anyway, we can't do that. So what can we do? You know what? No one is ever going to be able to block our creatures. So we have that going for us. I'm going to cut like Rescind. We have 12 creatures, and they all have flying. Except for, like, two or three. Uh, rescind or Frantic Search? Fr oh, frantic Search can just get the hell out. We're not doing anything with it. Yeah. So... Um... We have a Lonely Sandbar, so counting that, we do a, f like... Ah, see, we have look the double white at three. I think blue wants... I honestly want it even. It wants it even as well. All right. All right. So we're just gonna play turn one workshop into Chimeric Idol and we'll crush our opponents under a three-three. <laughs> They'll never be able to stop our turtle. Good and God. and he's not even a creature when they have like sorcery removal yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we have that going Perfect. for us. Perfect. This is.
All right, let's do it. <sighs> I actually like this format a lot from the last one. I feel like I just fell for a for a trap that that failed and then flailed around a lot and couldn't mm -hmm. find my bearings afterwards. <laughs> Well, fortunately, we'll be able to sideboard into a uh, black-red goblins deck and <laughs> take our components completely by surprise. <laughs> How many cards do I have for that deck? It's this. So 5, 10, 11, 15 cards right there, plus the artifact, so 19. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'd have to pad that out a little. Yeah. With, with something. <laughs> Splash white for removal. Uh, we're hoping for, like, Serenib Efreet on time. That'd be sweet. We're hoping for Owls. That'd be sweet. We're hoping for ah, sorcery speed on the Thopter Squadron. Yeah. We're hoping for turn three Thopter Squadron. A lot of our guys have big butts. Oh, we have Saren to Befreed, Obel Templar. What's his name is basically unkillable. Uh, Skywing Aven, I guess. Gus Claw Carrier is hard to kill in combat. Aquamiba. Aquamiba can block Goblin Lackey. Mmm. Mmm. I have a swords for that too. Half of the time. Yeah. We can put empirical armor on an owl. Mmm. Imperial. I put a K in that. It doesn't have a K. <laughs> oh, man. Well, if you missed the draft, I, I'm sorry for you. Um, I'm also sorry for us for having gone through it. Yep. The the draft occurred. We have a deck. It's true. It's true. thing is, with, with Vintage Masters, you, there are all these powerful cards and, like, Moxon and Lotus and stuff possibly in there, and you're just like, you want that. You want to be able to do that, to draft and play with power. That's the whole appeal of this. Uh, well, we didn't really get to do it. Right, we, we drafted power. And mm -hmm. and that, that particular piece of power doesn't have any support to it. Right, this doesn't have the... The set is... A void of artifacts. <laughs> and the... the the set set us up for it, too, with this memory jar. I need to know. I'm, I'm looking it up. I think Gnome linked the list of artifacts in the set, if you're, you're looking at the chat. Are you looking for Lodestone Golem? <laughs> that would have been sweet. But yeah, anyway, the... At the least, we might be able to get a game out of it. Flyers are good. Oh man, oh man, Ankh of Mishra. <laughs> City in a bottle. Uh, no. That it's in. I, I'm, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not joking. <laughs> Let me freaking mm, mm -hmm, accelerate mm -hmm. into my city in a bottle. And... How, how about flowstone sculpture? Which mm. is actually not junk. That would be pretty freaking cool. Because you can like permanently give it flying. Oh, that's the one that, like, you discard cards to... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Masticor. Yeah, could, that would have been a sweet two. That would have been pretty good. Uh, Nevenerals Disc. Also probably good. Mm-hmm. 
Predator, comma, flagship. It's a card with a comment in it. Let's see. That card wouldn't have been that good, because you can't use Workshop on its activated abilities. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Smokestack. Yeah, okay. That... Su Chi. See, that was the card that I was hoping we would find, because I had, like, right. a pair of Su Chis in the last one. Yep, that's, uh, you just didn't appear here mm, the CG. There's, there's the ring of gix which has echo uh you can't pay which <laughs> Can you, you would not be able to pay with the vicious <laughs> workshop <laughs> this is uh this is pretty horrid yeah in addition to the mana prism there mm. presumably to remind you that margaret or organ keen Illustrated something other than Lion's Eye Diamond. So that's supposed to be like your fake out Lion's Eye diamond. diamond. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, so we Mishra's Workshop into Mana Prism and act like we actually played a land. That would have been sweet. <laughs> That's like the standby, right? Like, turn two Juggernaut off your workshop? Oh, man. You know what we missed what for uh, Thopter Squadron? Mm -hmm. Soul Clamp. Oh, with some really terrible art, too. It's got its own art for this. All right. We're starting soon. I don't know how I feel about this. I do, but... Whatever. Beat them down with flyers. Yeah. Not... Nobody knows how to deal with the pile of flyers. And if they show pile of goblins, then that's bad. Ring of Gix was one of the most hyped cards in the world when it was uh, spoiled and came out. Uh, commanding very high prices because people thought it was the second coming of better icy manipulator like 15 bucks yeah since then we've had icy manipulator make returns we've had like a better icy manipulator if you're in white yeah the happen. staff or... just sort of meh maybe we don't need that in magic no more alright alright uh, Lazy Boy Jack, roll the six to our one. This is, uh... Lazy Boy Jack, have I got some surprises for you. Okay, well... Snap, keep. keep. Oh my goodness. Like, curve, mana, cards, you name it, it's here. Oh. Yo, look at this aggro deck. So, Benevolent Bodyguard is pretty cool. I guess be careful clicking on him. That's true. <laughs> it just immediately goes away. Goodbye. It's like, no, wait, I didn't want to pay that cost. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everything Look is fake. in the world. <laughs> Still be able to get Thopter Squadron out earlier at the cost of getting everything else out later. Deal. <laughs> Deal! <laughs> oh my god. What kind of fraud? Deal! What in the world? Like, the one exciting thing our deck can possibly do, and it's right here. Show me the Simeon Grunts. Yeah! Those guys are pretty good, huh? Yeah, I, I attacked and... Probably shouldn't have. Because what else was it going to be? So, hey. I imagine he's paying that echo cost. Yeah, and then I'm probably going to, like, council's judgment it. Because that's sunk two turns of his away. Ooh. Okay. 
that thing that you told me we could do with the memory jar and the brainstorm. <laughs> I'm gonna... Alright. Let's vote. Is our opponent reading a card? Yep. Mm hmm. I, I think this vote's a little stacked here. Yeah, okay. We didn't even. <laughs> Game didn't allow us to vote. <laughs> Fascinating. Amazing. Well, I guess there, there was only one possible thing to vote right. for, which is like targeting, but doesn't use the word target. So, you know. But it also does other things. Not every vote is for like a. Yeah. So sometimes there's a choice between stuff. So. <laughs> Thopters. What do we got? Ernam Jin. Okay. That's a fair creature. Uh, Ernie's pretty good. Uh, so let's go ahead and. Play this sandbar, play the memory jar. <laughs> Artifact spells. <laughs> <laughs> and then, end of turn, I like brainstorm to hide my good cards in the jar. Look, I mean, at this point, I I could probably care less what actually occurs in the rest of the games because, it, you know, the exact sequence of plays I said was going to happen just occurred. <laughs> Alright. Also, our opponent is going to be terrified of all of our artifact stuff. Right, at this point. And like... in artifact hate or whatever, and uh, it won't matter. Because we won't draw our artifacts. Please tap out. Hmm. That's pretty powerful. Yeah, that's annoying. Nothing to be done about that. You know, I still think I'm going to brainstorm here. Alright, so I want Future Sight to be in the hand, I think. Because I probably don't want to draw that, right? Actually, no, I probably do want it in my actual hand. So it gets... It, like, sticks around. Mm. So I'm going to give up the planes. Alright. So let's go ahead and crack the memory drawer here. Not a whole lot. Like at all. Can play an owl, see if I draw into something better. Can't even play the Noble Templar. You could plane cycle him to get a yet another plane. Yeah. Okay. I do have, like, defense here. You know, Owl versus Avon, Man of War gets Aquamibid. Aranam Jin is still, you know, beating me down, but... What do we got to work with out of here? 
Oh, I put Roar the Worm in my opponent's yard. I am... God. Pretty good at this game. <laughs> That's... Everything's going exactly according to plan. The plan just isn't very good. <laughs> Welp. Four mana for that, huh? Uh... Four mana for that. Gonna... Gonna take that hit. <laughs> he doesn't even want to challenge our owl. No, nobody challenges the owl, so this is gonna be a... Big ol' 6-6. Six, six. Okay. Leaving up his counter spell that he doesn't have. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then mm -hmm. I could break this up into chump blockers. Got sorcery speed, what is that? I could play Gust Cloak Harrier. Probably gonna get more mileage out of chump blocking. Yikes. Actually. Okay. Hey, that's that's a way out. A reason to chump. Okay. That's a removal spell, and I can... All I have to do is last a little bit. <laughs> God. I want the Aquamita's power toughness switching to come into play. Like, that would just be the best. That would be really good. The perfect end to a perfect game. <laughs> By the way, Aquamita! What's that now? Okay, okay. Throw the trump block there. Aquamoeba can just block Mana War. And take four. Take four to go to five. We still have blockers. Yeah. Sure. All right, trump blocks are us. What do we got out of my opponent? <laughs> yeah! Brindle! <laughs> Brindle shoot! Yo! <laughs> Give me that! Well now. Okay, so let's break the Thopter off. And this leaves us with four mana for pile of removal spells. Hmm. <laughs> but we... does it let us attack? I don't think it does yet. Uh -huh. Alright, so I've got removal. I'm gonna spend it... Is mid-combat better for that? Because he's likely holding a counter spell? I'm gonna wait till mid-combat. I have cards up on him. I just need to convert that into board advantage. Mm. You know? Which is 
is difficult. Yeah, okay, I, the, the team. All right. Okay. Here goes, here goes, to, no, leaving Brindle, Brindle showed, back? showed back. Oh. He doesn't want to take extra damage from Aqua Amoeba. That's that's what's happening here. All right, we're we're casting this. Show me counterspell. No. No. Okay. All right, we're cool. also casting this. <laughs> Please remove your board from play. All right, great. Okay. Cool. So, uh, Aqua Amoeba makes the block, and Thopter makes the other block. Okay, cool. I dig. I really expected flat counterspell out of my opponent there, or even, like, yeah, bounce, no like bounce air nom. Okay, so he discarded Forest to bounce his flyer. Uh-huh, and since we don't have a combat damage stack anymore, then we're just fine. Yep. That card, I guess, used to be a lot cooler. Yeah. And I've got 1-1 one, one flyers that basically defeat that for days, so... What do you got to back you up yourself up? Skywing Aven is back. He played an island, too. Oh. So, mm. Um... I could play Future Sight. Or I could play Gus Cloak Harrier. I kind of wanted something to help put him away. Yeah, I like like starts putting down the Harriers. <laughs> yeah, the skies. Nice. Yeah, all right, let's start. Harrier has arrived. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then I guess ah, oh, this still has forest walk, so. Oh. Um, <laughs> Take that! Aha! <laughs> um, Fat Oarsman, don't worry. I still have deep analysis. I could definitely get lower. What do we got? No combat, nothing. Okay. Not even in with Brindle shoot. Come on. Come on. That's pretty free. Um. Speaking of pretty free. Yeah, I think I go in with the one one flyers. I guess the Gus Cloak can go in too. That's safe. What a wacky mechanic. That's kitchen table stuff right there. That's the, like, oh, did, well, no, 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 oh, no, I, I didn't mean that. I totally yep. didn't mean that <laughs> attack. What are you... Um... Now that's just weird. I'm not gonna stop you. Oh, a root wall. Uh. I... That's still kind of weird. Why did you not just play the root wall? Uh? <laughs> I guess he's trying to show off, like to prove that he's a good magic player, which, uh, but anyway, Ruwala. maybe he's the madness deck, like he's got, uh, that's what it looks like, I see wild mongrel in the yard. Yeah, there's, there's wild mongrel, he probably has the stupid blue draw card thing. Um, w wait. What? He is the Madness deck, and he doesn't understand how to make Madness work in Magic the Gathering Online. Are we being styled on? <laughs> is this real? Huh, I didn't draw the land I wanted. Okay. Uh, not Future Sight, because I'm going for, like, 
I already have, like, huge card advantage on my opponent and need to actually, like, finish him before something weird steals my five life. I'm not familiar enough with the card pool to say that I'm comfortable at this specific juncture, you know? Yeah, what, what if they printed Overrun in the set? Yeah, you know? I have enough toughness to block something like that, and once I have Recent untapped, I'll feel a lot better. Like, Aquamiba's just going to block this, and then I'll have Recent up for the 3-3. Three, three. Uh, scratch that. Aquamiba's blocking Mana War, and then Brindle Shroud's getting blocked by Gust Cloak Harrier. Uh, the idea then would be to try to put Imperial Armor. Imperial, yeah. Yeah. Uh, block, block, you can have your 3-3. Three, three. Okay. A boar appears. An island. Um, so I guess the question is what I want to put the armor on. I guess Thopter Squadron is probably the best choice. <laughs> we get to get an extra dude out of it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> How are we still alive? I don't know! Game of Magic Gathering? This isn't making a ton of sense, and I'm okay with that. Uh, I'm going to swing in with, like, this setup, and then leave back this much in blocker. Yeah, this will be fine. I have resend as a backup trick. In case something odd occurs. <laughs> Fear the Thopter Squadron! Man, how much I wish I still... Yeah, I wish the Owl still had Forest Walk. Oh, jeez. That would be it right there. The Forest Owl. <laughs> that was good old... Maybe he's gonna try that trick again with a different Rootwalla. <laughs> You know, this game looks slightly better in his favor if he actually has the root wall up, but, you know. Anyway, I'm actually going to play this land to break off the Thopter token and leave up Resend. <laughs> <laughs> He's at five. Imperial armor and no fear. Yeah. All right. Nine mana. Something out of our opponent. Yavamaya Elder. Okay. You know, I think you're actually doing fine on lands. There's four in his yard and nine in play. Jeez. So, yeah. Then, I mean, we have... Eight in play and three in our yards. Our deck contains a lot of lands left right now. Okay, cycles the Avamai Elder. Probably digging for a thing. Yeah. Uh, no, you're correct there is like a three damage to all flyers thing but this being game one i would be pretty impressed to see it also i still am actually in the game if that were to occur uh aquamiba sticks around and then uh he loses his flyer and then i like bounce the boar and our boards are back to even so He could... Ophidian, okay. Boy, I've got a story for you. It's... A lot of flyers. Do we actually just rescind the flying guy? Uh... No need? I guess. Let's let him burn off time. That's good. Yeah, that's fine. He's still working out how the mechanics of madness work. Maddening. Because it, it goes to exile, and you have to cast it from... There, for exile. like a moment. It's there yeah. for like a, a second. Okay. Hi. 
Anyway, uh, this is where I attack with every creature I control with Speaking flying. Speaking of going lower on life. <laughs> this is where every creature I control with flying, with the exception of... You... Uh, no. Cloud of Fairies. Attacks. I'm respecting fog of all things. I don't even know if that's in this set. Yeah. Um, yeah! We did it! I am baffled. Okay, sideboarding time. Yeah, uh, we could bring in goblins. <laughs> we could take out Workshop and put in a different land. <laughs> <laughs> I can actually cast my goddamn spells. <laughs> the danger of cool things. Yeah, that might be real. I've already got to do it. I, how did that happen? You know what? Got the highlight. Yeah, done. Damn. Uh, let's... Probably another... Again, another planes. I think the double whites are more hard. Future Sight's the only difficult thing over here. Yeah! Um, so we just need removal spells for my opponent's large creatures, and that's literally it. Hmm. It's good to know. Dak Faden? They put Dak Faden in this? Uh, yeah, Dak. Jeez. He's here. Okay, well, I can't 41. I can't, uh... I don't think I'll be able to replicate last game on how nice that looked. But... Deck. Well, you'll be glad to know that there's no fog. Oh, great. Okay, cool. Look out for arrogant worm, I suppose. <laughs> Basically, the turn two wild mongrel is probably the scariest thing. Yeah, they they did put a lot of basically any of the like playable cards from Conspiracy are in here. Air quotes around the playable, mm -hmm. term, but you know. Yeah. I always get weirded out whenever they have like this draft format that's an excuse to just put cards in. Keep. So, like, the, the whole set exists because of mocks and Keep. Brainstorm and stuff. Did you know I have Brainstorm and a shuffle effect in my hand? <laughs> when does that ever happen? I don't know. Do you even want to do that? I mean, 3-6 three, six Vigilance... 3-6 three, six Vigilance be... is probably huge in this game, right? Yeah, I mean, that blocks his simian grunts, probably his wild mongrel. I think I'll brainstorm just to, like, see what we get. Do we have a wild mongrel? We have a... Whoa, buddy! Monocrypt. Excellent. That's going to kill him. <laughs> All right. What was he leading with? Off oh, Jesus Christ. Whatever. <laughs> Council's judgment. Damn that... It. Yeah. Alright, let's brainstorm. Maybe I'll get, like, swords or... Owl Familiar is a turn two play, I suppose. Order of cards on my deck doesn't matter, because I'll draw them all. So, let's go ahead and loot... Probably Just discarding like, oh my goodness. planes. And yeah, double white is the most we ever need. We have plane cycling if we really ever needed it. Really, really needed it, yeah. Uh, Alright, so uh <laughs> The question is, is he is he me? Does he win the flip? <laughs> I don't know. He lo ooh, he lost the flip. <laughs> <laughs> this is how it begins. So the Monocrypt has dealt four damage to us and three to him. Okay. And Going I'm... Glaciers. Our opponent's off blue. 
Not for long. No, not for long. Does he have uh, another play? In fact, does. Yeah. Fine. Oh, wow. We're, we're actually going to get to vote. I wonder if my opponent will be crazy on this. He could <laughs> like vote he, for his monocrypt. He he gives us an extra card. Yeah, he could vote because if he, I vote for Aranom, he could vote for monocrypt, and then both are gone. I don't think he's that mad though. By the way, no, I uh, would stop it from dealing damage to him. But... Council's judgment uh, before the latest patch didn't mm. tell you what I voted for. <laughs> <laughs> um oh my god uh, I don't think he understands how that works my opponent just failed to read my card excellent and that that is the full trip from the 1990s <laughs> winning because your opponent does not really understand the rules because the game is kind of hard won the flip okay he's 50-50 he's on it ugh Outstanding. I got Yafamaya Elder removed from the game. That feels like cheating and a half. <laughs> well, he's got his blue. Yep. I suppose we can start throwing down Gust Cloak Harriers. Yep, that's... Yeah. <laughs> Let's just start playing those flyers. <laughs> <laughs> and rely on Monocrypt to finish the... to seal the deal. Won the flip. Alright, he's two of three. Mm. Alright. Six mana? What do we got? You might have to come up with another removal spell. Elvish Aberration. For larger Urnum Jin. Okay. Um. Actually, going to cycle Noble Templar to grab a Plains and play that to advance my board state a little more. Let's go! Reese the man with the monocrypt. <laughs> Let's see how lucky he is. He lost the flip. Alright, two for two. Mm. two. Two for four. So basically at this point, like, I could, like, play defense on this with these two. Elvish Aberration comes in. I'm going to take the hit. Our opponent is only allowed to damage us in units of four. <laughs> Flyer? You gonna make that two one? No, mana war. Okay, that'll buy him time. It's a good play. I have Aquamivo, which is the like antithesis of this dang card, but Okay, so let's go ahead and replay the Gus Claw Carrier. Ooh, you could play uh, Chimeric Idol. I can. I'll bet he doesn't know how that card works either. Uh, you know what? Uh, yeah. I think I'll play it. That's Magic the Gathering. Reading your opponent's weaknesses. He doesn't know how to read. <laughs> That's a weakness. <laughs> Ooh, Counterspell? Blue. Force Spike? Brainstorm! It's gonna brainstorm to dig for the Force to stop your Chimeric Idol from resolving. No, he's going to cast a 
circular logic. <laughs> Yo. He's gonna. That'd be pretty good. That's how gotta be gonna, it, right? Like, right, but how did how does he discard? He doesn't. Oh, I see. More of this not reading. He just play, so if I would have played Aqua Me, but this resolves. Holy crap! I, I I'm I, I yeah, I had the read. <laughs> By the way, please take three. Lost the flip. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I, well, geez, I guess, uh, sorry for that, leading you down the, the wrong the wrong path. No, 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 I'm, I, that, that got it out of his hand. Uh, this Gust Cloak is going to... I think it's going to block Elvish Aberration. I guess... Blocking Mana War saves two over the course of three turns. This is the better block. So go to eight. My opponent is at 50 50 split. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, can you produce a flyer? <laughs> right. Like, that's... Why? Uh, yeah. We have, uh, we have a backup plan. I love Res having backup plans. Rescind bouncing my flyer. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Excellent. Going to get the hit in with Owl Familiar? Sounds good. You know, just in case we have to attack two more times with Owl Familiar to end this game. Correct. Mm -hmm. the He's too afraid. He can't deal with the coin flip. <laughs> <laughs> we want a match of Magic the Gathering with this deck. What in the world? Let's take it. 2-0. Oh. Our opponent had troubles reading. He's probably saying to himself, ah, whatever, I opened a box, I'm happy. <laughs> He's got Mana Crypt. That's the, what, Mana Crypt in many situations is stronger than a Mox. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's scary as heck. It's better than Soul Ring, and Soul Ring is, um... Not fair. Not real. Mm. Yeah. Basically that. Frank Sinatra's been re eliminated. But yeah, okay, that okay. That showed too brightly for old blue eyes. <laughs> but yeah, also we get to play quick because all the games are finished, so we just get to jump right back in here in about a minute. Cool, so, like, someone got Storm to actually work, and another person got Goblins, goblins. to actually work. And that's, uh... Let's check out, uh... I'm gonna face one of those. Three minutes, four minute wins. I found it. Mm-hmm. 21 and 10 on ours, so, uh... You probably think we're some kind of control deck. Well, won't mm. they be surprised when we don't actually do anything? <laughs> I frankly love this, by the way. <laughs> I'm, yeah, glad. I'm glad. Having have some junk deck and be like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> What's its plan? Okay, do it. Sure. Turn three, three, three flying Wind artifact Drake. thing. Windrakes are so powerful in vintage that, hmm. Actually, the Lonely Sandbar makes this. Yeah, I think I'm going to roll with this. Because I've got threes. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, that's the uh, three-minute, four-minute guy. Yeah. Here, here he is. No Goblin Blackie. That's, that's happy. <laughs> that's an upgrade. <laughs> Aquamiba. Can you get past my monster? 
Okay. Chimeric Idol. <laughs> Not gonna race him down? Nah. Uh oh. Yep. Mm hmm. It's a, it's a lot of little guys. And our opponent can read. Mm. Mm. This is no good. He's gonna run us down with like. Jeez. Okay. That goblin general's attacking once. Alright! This is my own squadron! <laughs> God, this is gonna be awful when he actually does attack, because, yeah, pump your team. I need a kill spell for goblin general flat. Hi! <sighs> Great. Man, we even stole cards from this guy. How sick is this? He's got the Goblin Commando, so he gets to shoot down Gus Cloak Harrier for five on a turn. Are you coming in? Nope. Okay. Could play Memory Jar. All right, my answer to this is make my own team. It's the four creatures and some tokens. It's comparable. The great stare down begins. Yep. If he finds another like goblin general, I think he gets to bust this one right open. Mm -hmm. He might just bust it open by attacking with this goblin general. Mm -hmm. God. He has such a ridiculous board for playing had have had played four cards. Up. Okay. Gross. Next turn is the death turn. Right, so we're going to, what, crack memory jar, hoping to find our um, swords and plowshares? That's kind of the hope. <laughs> What's in the jar? Goblin Commando, it's the worst flame tongue Kavu. Kill off my best flyer, yep. <sighs> Do I crack the jar going for it? Well, if he if he gets to attack, he'll get the pump. And we're basically lost at that point. So it's got to be in my seven. I, I really think that that's our only way out of this. And that that way out isn't even all that great. Right, because it leaves him with full board and sacrifices my memory jars, seven cards, refill. Like, I wish I could wait a turn and, like, actually get the full value of memory jar here when I draw. Nada. There's an attack all button to Well, I've had that fail on me. I know that that's fair. That's <laughs> I I remember that. All right.
Am I just dead regardless of my actions here? I feel like it. And this was a slow start. <laughs> Amazing. I could discard a card to save it, but, um... Amazingly, you're not actually dead. Yeah, I'll discard a card. Alright! Hi. <laughs> Another Beetleback Chief? Un Jeez. Mountain Solar Blast. Skirt Control Sergeant. Huh. Mm. Land. This is basically a fighting goblins without a sweeper. Like that, it's best. Okay. So, um... Yeah. <laughs> this is where we get crushed. Yeah, basically. We, do, we don't have a lot of ways of interacting with that. Yeah, so. like at all. So... No sweeper, no... No, you're aware that forcing this deck would have ended up with us being about ten cards short of it, right? Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, well, that guy also would have lost, because he would have had a terrible deck, too. Yeah. We can only hose so many people. Mm. Think of how great his deck would have been if I wouldn't have stolen, like, Matron in the fourth Goblin Buzzback or whatever. <laughs> That card is unreasonable. Four mana, four power, and four toughness of mm -hmm. goblins. You, which Three basically ends up being ten power with the with the pumps. Yep. So that was a bit good. So, okay. Well, I really don't know what our options are against that deck. We'll see. Maybe we can fly over. Play the armor on a two drop. Cloud of fairies and then armor and just go to town with like a <laughs> six six flyer. Yeah. Yeah. And then not play lands. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna. Um. Wait, there's no land tax. What? Huh? Why would they not put land tax in? I thought that's the whole reason you had imperial armor. That is. Or to play it on turn three and limited. Those are like the two things you do with it. Laquatus's champion is in here. They're just choosing things at random. <laughs> Laquatus's oh. champion is a card that had a release on Magic Online. I thought that was kind of the point, was a lot of the cards were cards that hadn't had a release on Magic Online. Yeah, like they wanted Vintage to be a viable format, because they were switching over from Classic to Vintage, and putting a bunch of things that they thought would... Uh, with suit, and then put in some other stuff that they had kicking around at the office and hadn't picked up since 1996 or something. This hand's kind of bad. I wish I had one more land and I would keep it.
Hey. Oh. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, doing? runner, runner planes. Literally planes. the only thing I want. Oh my god. One time. One time. This plan is so much better now that we've mulliganed. <laughs> you remember we're down a, like, I think we lose a full turn on the clock because of that, too. <laughs> Runner planes. I'm counting on you. Okay, so I want to play lands to get to deep analysis. Hmm. I'm always scared to hover over my cards because I'm like Hearthstone. He knows I'm looking at it, you know. It's like, oh, you know, he knows I'm looking at my cloud of fairies really intently because I'm hovering over it because that's the Hearthstone way. Mm. But he doesn't actually have that info. I've never really paid attention to my opponents doing that. I hope they pay attention to me doing that. I think I track thought steal cards, and that's about it. Mm. I will occasionally like highlight their hero power, highlight their face, and to try to wake them up into action. Mm. Okay, continue Cloud of Fairies. So his first drop is going to be Beetleback Chief. Yeah, on turn four. Yeah. Zant's probably like three copies of the damn thing. Hey! <laughs> wow. Wah, wah. Okay. Oh, there, there goes our, our the plan for chief. beating our opponent to Goblin death. Goon. Huh. But wait. Get ready! <laughs> I got the super owl on my side. <laughs> Jar owl. Yosh. Oh man, that's like a secret win con right there. Like jar to pull damage out of my... Just like... Uh, Aha! <laughs> Suddenly I have cards in my hand. I will crush you! <laughs> I feel like I'm the like Goblin Goon is pretty big. It's not all that difficult to. Uh huh. Uh huh. Is that what Spark Spray? Another uh -huh. Chain Lightning. Okay. Uh huh. Jeez. Uh huh. I guess, I guess that's a way to control more creatures. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. Yep, gooned. We've been gooned. What is thy will? Alright, he has to read the card now. This card's really weird. I thought it was an enchantment for the longest time. Alright, so it says one vote on the Goblin Goon. So he should vote for Goblin Goon. And he did. All right, it let's... is the will of the council. 
All right, so I'm gonna need to use memory jar very effectively, I think. Double chain lightning. It's a decent card. Yep. Oh, it's here. There we go. All right. We just knew that had to be, right? They showed us three of them last game. Yeah. Gabos. So I guess the, the lesson here is always draft a sweeper for your sideboard. How could we have even done that, though? I know. There was none. There was a famine in pack two if I wanted to go into black. But I really didn't. What, did they did they put slice and dice in the set? I don't, that would be kind of cool. I don't think so, actually. I'm just going to play out memory jar. Yeah, no slice and dice. <sighs> that would be good. They're cycling <laughs> in the set. Come on. Yeah, Was I mean, they even put, like, the little brother solar burst in there. Yeah. Oh well. Anyway. Go go memory drawer. Yeah, deep analysis is gonna be a bit difficult to wield, but we have the option. Alright, so I get to kill Goblin Patrol here. Uh, okay. Jesus Christ. That's, uh, that's pretty powerful. Jesus I thought, Christ. I, I thought that had haste, but, uh, nope. Okay, so, memory jar into radiance, judgment, or swords, and if I draw exile, I look like a fool. Uh, that's two to one, so I do it. Yeah. All those cards are instants. Uh, I could possibly get flying blockers, too. Oh, a flying blocker. All right, well, let's do this quick. Okay, good, good. <laughs> 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 okay, I'm... I'm... I wish I could hold it, like, you know, for his echo cost, but I'm going to lose it at the end of turn, right. so. Let's get the hell out of here! <laughs> okay. Uh, he discarded Mountain, 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 Beetleback Chief, Goblin General, Ringleader, Commando. Sheesh. Okay, Chimeric Idol's a good blocker, too. I want my 3-6 Vigilance, man. Talk about yeah. doing work. That'll chip away at him. Gotta keep siphoning goblins off the table. That's really what I need to do. I don't know that our opponent is gonna be as obliging about that as we want. I know. His attack here would get him one damage and lose a goblin, or two damage and lose two goblins, which is probably the actual effect I would take, because I want less goblins on his team. God. Alright. What do you got past it? Oh, past the turn. Okay, well, let's go ahead and slam Chimeric Idol as a decent creature. And we're leaving... I'm going to be leaving a land in my hand for the rest of this game for Aquamoeba. Excellent. Also, mind games. Hmm. <laughs> Could be Counterspell. Hmm. 
why 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 is this chimeric idol fighting like plastic army men? Was that was that part of like Dominaria was plastic army men? Yeah, I I really don't know. It looks exactly <laughs> like him though. Yeah. Sarge's heroes littered yeah. on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's the boss fight where I have to fight the giant, like, mech turtle. Wait, maybe Mark Tadine just had, like... He, he was looking at his kid's sandbox. And the, the kid had, like, turtle toy and toy soldiers in the sandbox. Mm -hmm. He's just like, hey. Yeah. That looks kind of neat. Goblin Commando. Alright, so rip Gust Cloak Harrier. Man, never thought I would be impressed or afraid of a five mana two two. <laughs> it's also the world's worst rescind target. Yep. Ah. Uh, <laughs> well. Yeah, well. Okay. okay. Better question: Is it literally better to cycle this damn thing then? <laughs> Probably. Like, I'm bouncing a goblin token with it. Yeah, that's kind of weak. Whereas, we could possibly get closer to our... Um, tall man? Or a brainstorm. Oh god, this is gonna... I'm gonna be unhappy with this brainstorm, because it's just gonna show me, like, three lands. Really want the tall man. Hmm. Okay, I think... I could play Serenib. That's a bit dangerous. That seems risky against goblins. That lets him go all out sooner. Yeah, however, I could just, like, hold, like, put two cards on top of my deck, and, like, I have nine, eight mana right now. I could hold this exile is really what I'm... I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to hold the exile. It gains me two life. Which means I'm not playing Skywind Aven this turn. I'll play it next. Whenever another, another goblin dies, pay three to reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a goblin, put it into play. That probably means he's attacking all out here. Oh no. Okay. Now we have a very patient goblin opponent. Alright, so that means I could either play Serenib or the Skywind Aven. Again, Serenib is giving my opponent a clock, and I'm just not... Uh. Ugh. Do you think you're going to be able to attack with him six times? No. I'm going to have to hold it back on D. So I'm going to play the Skywind Aven and leave up Exile first. <laughs> Kindle! Yeah, I actually... Oh, man, do I want Serenib? I don't think so. This feels really dicey, but... Okay, so I've got a pretty good block here. I'm going to go ahead and exile one of these. And then we go ahead and activate Chimeric Idol now, because, you know, lands tapping and all that. Mm-hmm. And he's going to get two activations of his Skirk Drill Sergeant. Unless he has Burn Spells, which he probably does. He's probably got Kindle again. 
Our opponent has too many damn cards in hand. Two. It's too scary. Oh, alright. And he's waiting. So, obvious blocks are Aquamiva on Skirt Girl, Drill Sergeant, Chimeric Idol on Goblin Commando. What is this? Solar Blast flat to kill off Chimeric Idol. Hmm. Okay. Still have to make the same block here. I'll take four, and I'll give him an activation of the Drill Sergeant, which may or may not give him a replacement goblin. Hopefully it's a mountain. He actually has seven plus ten, eleven. His deck should have, like, a round of 50-50 split, maybe a little higher. Uh, Falter. Okay, that's a f whiff. So. Hmm. So Is he still going to draw that? No, that actually goes oh. into his graveyard. So. Oh. All right. Hmm. So he doesn't have, you know, the falter effect sort of thing going on. We have somehow run our opponent out of cards. This is weird. Your opponent has disconnected. disconnected. Oh, no. Oh, the worst and the rudest. I really hope that's just some, I don't know, like, like not... I'm going to assume that's not a return to game. I want chat log. So I'll need this up. Okay, so yeah. So let me tell you how my fiesta went. Oh no, oh, here no. it is. We'll hear. Okay, okay we'll, we'll we'll hear about the fiesta. I'd like. I would like to hear about it. I have not. I have yet to. Okay, my opponent is untapped. He, I'm scared of the beetleback chief. He's got to have another in his deck still. He's gotta. Wonder what that disconnect was all about. Hmm. I can't imagine his decision tree is all that. Okay, okay, squeamish about attacking us. Cool. Uh, we have three lands left in deck, nine cards. So we again hold on for Aquamiva's sake. I I only want. I really want that disconnect to not have been him, like, rage disconnecting and something like that, because it's... I could deep analysis, I suppose, but, uh... Hmm. Yeah, going to five is questionable. Like, we would, we would have to bank on getting something that helps us stabilize. Could it, though? Well, what, nine cards left in the deck. It's going to draw us two. One of them is the tall man. And I think that's the best we could hope for. Right. Five means we might, like, be in range of burn, but quite honestly, if he's got more on top of two solar blasts, two chain lightnings, and a kindle, we're already going to be in trouble in combat on the <coughs> things here. Yeah, so a one in four and a half of getting the man. What roughly. about... Here's the better question. How am I winning this game? Yeah, attacking with your 2-1 flyer, I don't know. <laughs> Getting your opponent to disconnect, helpfully. Oh, like, I don't know if I can win through damage. Mm -hmm. I'm going to not cast the deep analysis. I'm going to play defensive, and we'll see where this leads. I mean, your tall man has vigilance. There are enough turns left. That's true. It's not going to be the timeout. My opponent has 10 minutes and is playing goblins. Again, his decisions are uh -huh. not... Well, here's the thing about cards in deck. Deep analysis targets a player. That's the You You found the actual reason I'm holding the deep analysis. <laughs> you found it. I counted the cards. He, he'll have... If I deep analysis him uh, on, his fin on my final turn, he would actually go to zero cards in deck. Obviously, that's assuming my cards remaining in deck are better than his cards remaining in deck. But, we're, yes, I, I I can mill my opponent, assuming that my life total stays above three. And Abyss Hunted is also picked up on it. Yep. Okay, in so he'll, he'll hear us talking about it in a couple more seconds. Yep, I'm sure. And that's the Twitch. You are already within my magic... Yeah. I... <laughs> 
Okay, Ooh. so drill sergeant. This, this might entice him to attack. Yeah, he'll... Okay. Or, no, no, okay. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and play a Gus Cloak. Ah, <laughs> two twos are bigger than one ones. Mm. Like Aqua Biba has been this unsolvable monster. I love it. What in the world? I love it. I don't know anything about magic anymore. Goblins. I would like my opponent to just all out attack for the drill sergeant trigger. Okay, here we go. So I'm I have very very simple blocks here. Very no block. extremely mm -hmm. simple blocks here. By the way, um, if I had deep analysis, guess what my life total would be at this exact moment. <laughs> anyway, uh, I have more simple blocks than you think because falter kind of sucks. <laughs> 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 so Gabo trigger Mountain has revealed Spark Spray has revealed <laughs> Hey Oh my god Assemble! <laughs> okay, um... Can we win through Mill? You just helped us out a little. There's the general. Okay. Blanks. That's that's what the last land in the deck? Uh five in yard nine in play one left. Yeah, one left. Huh. Oh. Five cards left in tech. He could mill with that skirt drill sergeant if he goes for that, you know? Mm. Those activations can be dangerous. Yeah, I honestly don't think that he's uh that he has a problem with time. No. He can he can win in four minutes, flat out. It's it's no biggie. Assemble! <laughs> There's no slice and dice in this format. I'm very powerful. <laughs> also, falter doesn't affect flyers. <laughs> Thank God. Hulking Goblin. Hulking Goblin can't block. <laughs> I forgot we had that. <laughs> I'm playing it. What, so our opponent can see the top card of our library? Ooh. Mm. Mm. I could play that, but then the mill plan is, like, off. I'm just going to leave it. The mill plan... <laughs> is, this, is this real? <laughs> Our library. Yes. I have seen the future. Okay. So, 
Uh, obviously, the Goblin General needs to die. Um, also, probably the Skirk Drill Sergeant wants to get milled. I want him to activate that so he has less card, like, mana left. Mm. So I think I'm going to do this, 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 and this. I, I guess we'll throw a third blocker in front of the, that guy in case of uh, fire, you know. Anyway, um... Yeah, that looks good. Like, if he has, like, a way to deal damage to a Thopter, I don't want... I really want his Goblin General dead, so... Yeah, like Spark Spray or something? Yep. Alright, so he gets triggers of... Do it, do it, do it. Yes! You don't even know the disaster you've, you've brought upon yourself. Beetleback Chief. Oh, well, there he is. Wait, we get to flat kill him? Um. Does that library say one? The library says one. Uh, could his hand be a burn spell that deals two damage? Possibly. I guess? Um. Does that matter? Do I just go for it? Are, are we gonna die anyway? Well, I, I mean, I, I play mean, Noble Templar off the top and have blockers to deal, but I'm going to do it. If he's got Kindle in response, that's the only real card that could yeah. be. Solar Blast costs four to play flat. Um, and you would need, like, and Chain Lightning's a sorcery, so... God, this is so tense. I can't believe this. Oh my god. Yes! <laughs> god! Perfect. We turned off his falters. Falter this. Yeah, um... Okay. On to the last one? I guess so. In okay. we get. Alright. <laughs> Kill goblins by freaking milling them out without mill cards in your deck. Just let them do it for you. All right, final game. Probably of the night. Probably. <laughs> now there's there's no you can't timer scam the the goblin. The goblin deck. Deck. He has yeah. seven minutes to work with. That's plenty. Yeah, like he won in sub four, and that's not like his four. That's four. That's like four full. So that's two bowl. Like it's the goblin's deck. If he wants to play in fast mode. He can. <laughs> yeah, ra ra raised. You've got it right, right there. The three wins with this deck are three, maybe four more than this deck deserves. Officially done better than we have any right to do. <laughs> it's, uh, it's absolutely correct. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Win this game, and we get four packs. Of what? Like Theros? Vintage Masters. Hey, that's actually something then. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, like anyway, I... t uh, tell me about the Fiesta while we're in a... Well, uh, Fiesta, uh, I had I had a plan. The plan was basically unleash Avis Dragon on Neo X Death. 
yep. Okay, that's the because like that's, percentage. That's, mm-hmm. Breath wing, which is wind elemental percent based, so it deals ten thousand to him flat. Doesn't matter whatever else. Uh, and deals to to all the components. Um, use magic lamp Odin on the rear component, and th- throw money at the rest. Okay, so that and that that's a pretty sound plan because once you do thirty thousand, that's half of it done. Right. That that's that's fine. Um, the problem is I had equipment from the second world, and only two Avis dragons, <sighs> and. 1600 hit points on my healthiest person who was the berserker okay i did so ferris yeah. was wearing the bone mail and i couldn't revive her and i only had like two phoenix downs i'm going to mulligan this hand but go ahead yep shame to see the our our favorite little one three go away but i guess that's that yeah right. so uh i left i left the cleft Went back and got more money. I actually ran out of money against Neo X Death. Oh, jeez, no. Not only did I get to him, but I, I ran out of funds. And um, there, went, uh, there went the neighborhood, as it were. Yeah. All right, so we have... So yeah, went off to go fight some monsters... Bought actually <laughs> realized that uh, I had an upgrade waiting for me in just the shop, like black robe or something like yeah. that. Yeah, like crystal armor. I'm oh, like, oh, yeah. I guess you can buy this stuff. I was wearing diamond plate. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so. Jeez. It's it's astonishing I got as far into it as I did, but it did take a while to get up to where I wanted. I went and gained like three levels just to be kind of safe on it. I wanted to... Like, if every level was another 150 damage on the gill toss. Ugh. At least I'm just gonna exile the freaking Goblin General. There's no way he doesn't attack with it. Right. No way. Yeah, I, I remember... I think I left right as the plan was kind of forming. I remember you talking about Dragon AVs and... <laughs> Breathwing, and then yeah, and then like not actually fighting Necrophobe because <sighs> forget about it. Jeez, that was that was perhaps the the telltale sign there. Like Necrophobe got in too many hits on me, and I'm just like, eh, I'll flare you four times. Okay, you just didn't fine. have the right. I didn't have any shell. I didn't have any. Um, so you're relying on Aegis to try to. Right, and that didn't trigger. And uh, comically, when he does the, like, quad target bounce off his things reflect, your Aegis rolls independently for all of them. Oh, jeez. Yeah. So you tend to you tend to get less. Okay, so we let okay. the Goblin General get its pl- plus, and then we remove it. Because that just flat, you know, gets... That done. And Goblin Patrol comes down. Okay. So we're going to play Keen Eye Aven here. Ooh, Aqua Amoeba's round two. But we're going to play Keen Eye Aven. Um, because I want my opponent to play Chain Lightning on Keen Eye Aven. I don't actually want my opponent to do that, but that's what's going to happen. Because mm-hmm. this is a really good blocker. It's a 2 3 with flying, so it can't be faltered. <laughs> Can't be faulted. Oh, geez, no, I, I uh, take that back. He's gonna spark spray and or cycle uh, solar blast. solar burst. Yep. Hmm. Man wants his card. Uh, I could brainstorm. I could play Aquamiba. I could deep analysis. I really want to play Aquamiba. Yeah, I I could brainstorm to see if I draw blue, but. <laughs> <laughs> 